What's good, y'all? You dog back here again in the beginning stages of 2020. We talked a little bit about that One Piece Beyond Greatness yet again, but this time we addressing. If you know my channel, I've not talked about Odin. Right? I've not talked about Odin at all for a plethora of reasons. Number one, a lot of channels, KOL, you know, Brago, Tacking, Sawyer, and a bunch of other cats, Joe Boy, talked about him. You know, chatting, Chad Odin, all this stuff, people loving him. You know, the crazy flashback and, and all this stuff with the greatness that we get in them, Rogers base. Everybody's talking about him, right? So I was like, you know, Owen, Owen's cool. Owen's cool. You know, he, he's kind of. A little bit above, but kind of in that ace uh, area for me. He's cool. No one say he's a fan favorite of mine, but I mean, he's not a bad character by any stretch of the imagination. The thing is, I wasn't initially going to do a video about him uh, after last week's chapter talking about uh, the whole thing of the humiliation of Kaido. But then I started seeing the reactions, of course, stereotypically of the, the Western One Piece fandom. That's what I'm going to say, the Western One Piece fandom, who I don't want to throw shade because I have respect for these cats. But it's almost like y'all don't read literature. Oda is doing classic story writing like Oda often does. Oda is pulling things. Um... I think it was Tekken that did a video about the 12 labors of Heracles, right? This was the humbling of Oda. I mean, of Odin, excuse me. On five levels. Yes, it was part of the plot. That's the first, but I'll get into those levels. This video ain't going to be long, but I had to discuss it. And then we see Odin versus Kaido. So it's a good thing I kind of waited and work had me just whew, dead. All right, it's <laughs> just dead. And I was just going, going, going. But when you look at it, it all makes sense. It's like I, I talked about the parallels between uh, Kid, Usus Captain Kid, Sir Crocodile, and Blackbeard, Marshall D. Teach versus Luffy. You, you parallel them. Odin, many have drawn a parallel. Like in another shonen, he could be the protagonist. He's got a lot of Luffyism in him. That's what they say. So another parallel to Luffy. This is why Luffy will be Power King. Luffy's on the right track. It's not me hyping up Luffy. It's Oda's writing the story to show you to neon sign Broadway lights that this is why oh, Luffy's that dude. You even have the parallels to Roger. Why Luffy can arguably surpass all of these cats. Newgate and everybody else. Why do I say all this? You look at Odin. Look how Odin's character originally was. And again, I'm not going to do a comparison between him and Luffy. This video that's another time and lengthier. But you look how he's introduced. All these crazy ass feats. You know who had crazy stats on the introduction? Katakuri. Katakuri ended up being a right hand man of Ayanko. Yeah, you could say he's the, the well, second son, not the first son. That's Paris Sparrow. But still, Congress hockey and everything. Odin. Odin, who never really wanted to follow anybody. But Odin, who never wanted to take lead either. So he's in this weird area. Zoro and Katakuri define roles. And yes, I still think Zoro has Congress hockey, but you know. When has Odin ever led in his life? And I'm not throwing shade. He got followers by accident. Honestly. That's facts. I'm not, this is not a bash Odin video, but this is truth. He didn't even want followers. They followed him because of his, his overwhelming might, because of, you know, his, his charisma. Sound like Kaido, but he ain't Kaido. The thing with Odin, Odin's too straightforward. I'm not calling him stupid. People throw shade at Luffy. But Odin had that in what they say in spades. So you have this setup. So for one, the plot. The one of plot of, we already know 20 years. So Odin couldn't get this W. 
So you should have already. I didn't expect any much of the fight. I, I'm not shocked. I didn't know how old he was going to take him like five years. How the hell five years went by? What the fuck was Odom doing? He must have not really been doing something. And lo and behold, he wasn't. He wasn't. He screwed up multiple times. And I'm not against him going off with the Roger Pirates. But multiple times he didn't try to be a leader. And then he comes back. And he's still not being a leader. So why should it shock anybody that he does what he does? He wasn't even really about being a shogun. It was fine just being a Damio and Kuri as long as things went well. Oh, well, I, I guess uh, Orochi, as long as he, you know, he... What evidence in your life did you think that Orochi was going to be about that? And keep his promise. But this is Odin. This is your child. This is, this is your idol. This is your man. Just, just think about this. It's in his character. It was already written. Then, that, so the plot, second humbling of Odin. Odin, excuse me. His headstrong, brass nature had always succeeded for him. He'd never been chastised. Yes, you could say, well, did he get locked up in prison? Bruh. That would look... Man, look at Udon with Luffy and Kid. That light shit, that light work for them. That ain't bro prison life for them. They just sitting there chilling. You know, Hugh Gore's been there for like two decades, so he's older now, so it's hard on him. But somebody in the prime? You think Hugh Gore the flower would be, would be would be sweating in prison right now if he was in his prime? Hell no. The light work for him. Odin. Oh, you get you get excommunicated. You get banished. To, all right, I'm gonna go off the Kiri. Nothing happened. Oh, I'm gonna challenge Whitebeard. Yes, he went through that trial for three days, and I'm not I'm not dismissing it. But that's because because Newgate was like, yo, this dude is wild. So let me put him through some he through his determination, and then eventually Newgate came and got him anyways. And then the whole thing, Roger wanted him. So this dude's been blessed. He's never been humbled. He's never had that opposition, that struggle. Guys like Luffy have. Another series, Son Goku have. Zoro's been humbled. Hell, even Sanji been humbled. See what I'm saying? Ace got humbled by Newgate. You need that humbling in your life. Whether it's a physical loss, mental, emotional, spiritual loss. Something got to humble you. And Odin never got that. So that's the second point, too. Issue became extravagant, but that's the kind of game Odin is, right? And that's his position. Three. Why don't you go after Kaido? Odin. You didn't go after Kaido. Kaido just mocked your ass. He said, bro, we didn't have the manpower. See, that I told y'all. Remember how I talked about why Law's plan was booty, was butt cheeks, all right, was garbage. And you just wait to the bitter. Oh, and people say, oh, Luffy's wrong. Oh, it's Luffy responded rightly so. Plan, take out Kaido now, so we don't have to fight a damn army. Now you see why. Now you see why Luffy was actually right when Kaido showed up on the doorstep trying to attack his crew. Luffy was right once again. These strategies, these plans don't work against overwhelming might and numbers. Kaido has the advantage now. Now, could they have still won? Yeah, but you just made it hard on yourself instead of taking out more than Kaido and then coming back for that ass, coming back for Orochi. Dog, Orochi, wait, wait, wait. Oh, poison people. He's having people, and then it goes into point number four. You let your country go to shit. You let it become wasteland. All these weapons factories and stuff. You let that happen, Odin, under your watch. You were back and you did nothing. Because your laissez-faire, carefree nature. Oh, yes, you care about the people. But you don't care enough to do until it becomes desperate. That's that Gohan mentality in, in, in Dragon Ball with as far as the G, you know, uh, young Gohan. 
I'm not going to step in until it's absolutely desperate. That's a critique I have with some of these gods in various forms of fiction. Odin has the ability to do stuff and does not do it. There's a, you know, you consider an axiom or verse in scripture. To the man who knows what he does, to ought for a man to know what he ought to do and does it not to him is sin. Odin out here was living selfishly. Living selfishly. And I'm not knocking him. I'm just being honest with you people. It's his clear fault. He's a flawed character. And I'm going to have to do an analysis on him. But he's a very flawed character. Does he have likable aspects? Absolutely. But he was flawed from the beginning. So it shouldn't be shocked that going toward his death, he's going to be flawed. The stuff that you guys loved about him is the exact same problems that he has. Which is a very beautiful and poetic signal symbol by Oda. Oda once again with the genius story writing. He evoked the emotions he wanted you because y'all fell for the genjutsu of Odin. Even though you knew it was coming. And that's the worst one. You knew it was coming. And you still fell for it. Because he was so great. Lastly. The humbling of prioritization. And then not just in him. But also in his subordinates. Dog. Oh, you know, Lady Toki got attacked. Oh, we're, we're just going to follow. We're going to follow. I'm not saying just commit a civil war. How the hell did y'all allow Orochi to do what he did? We're waiting on Odin. We're waiting. We're going to wait till you die? Until things got desperate. As his retainers. What were y'all doing? And you can say, well, how does this reflect on Odin? Because they weren't thinking for themselves. And they put their faith in Odin, the, this mythical, and the same thing with all the people of Wano. They put their faith in this, made Odin this mythical creation. Put him on a pedestal. It kind of reminds me of how some people view Luke Skywalker and they don't like the version of Last Jedi. And I love it because it's a real version. You know, he believed his own hype. Odin believed his own, started believing his own hype. Okay? And so, it's the humbling of the image of Odin is the last point. And that may be the biggest thing. And a lot of people feel it. They don't know how they feel. And yes, Odin cut Kaido, which was awesome, by the way. Which was which was awesome. Um, It was good to see. But kind of love going into that dragon form. I don't know why he does it. Because he did it against Luffy. And, Luffy, and this also make Luffy look better. On two fronts. And make Luffy look better. Because Luffy put that work in on that drag for Oh, but it, it was just kind of witness. But y'all ain't saying about that Odin, though. I'm just saying. Also, secondly, Luffy's followers. Zoro does his thing. Nami does her thing. Sanji does his thing. We constantly see Sanji just off doing his thing. Rock, all of the Straw Hats do their thing. And why you say, well, the Straw Hats don't follow the plan? Because the Straw Hats are living freely. Odin... Was about that pseudo freedom that a lot of people are about out here. Luffy about that real freedom. Roger was about that real freedom. Shanks about that real freedom. And when you bought real freedom, that comprehensively, holistically affects your worldview. Odin didn't have that. So he allowed himself to become subservient to this man, Orochi, who's literally his Yamato no Orochi, his snake. It is mythical Zoan. It fits perfectly with his old character. He, uh, I got to, I got to do a video because him Wapo and Steli. Oh my God, him Wapo and Steli, the ultimate heels of One Piece. And people are loving Orochi because Orochi doing sinister. And to a, a last point, last point, I got to say this: Y'all see that Kato is a pirate pirate, right? And he allowed for trickery to go on, but y'all threw shade when Luffy, you know, used trickery. They're pirates. That's what they do! If pirates were out here, you think pirates gonna fight, fell? That is such thing as fight, fight. That is a fact of you get the W. Period. Because you're gonna get clowned if you take that L. And if it's warfare, you use war. I'm glad that the beast pirates are about that. The how you should be. Now, I'm not advocating for it. No. But I'm telling it what it is. This is what you're supposed to be doing. 
You think these, these Yonko got to their position? You think Roger and Kyle got to their, I mean, Roger and Whitebeard got to their position? Because they fought fair all the time? Hell no! You think the Rocks Powers were fighting fair? Nah! They loaded, they pulled Golden State Warriors. They loaded up the Avengers and the X-Men as well as Justice League. The Rocks Powers. Y'all fanboy over the Rocks Powers. They got a whole squad of superheroes over here. <laughs> or super villains. They loaded up the roster with talent. Stuff that people hate what the Golden State Warriors did. That's what the Rock Spies were. Luffy didn't do that though. But y'all hate on Luffy for getting W's over overwhelming odds. When all the other Yonko get overwhelming damn odds. But you know that. Hey, you know. Once again, this is not me going off. This is me just discussing this foolishness that's going on out here in the community. Y'all know what I do. I love One Piece. But I'm also going to call people out for their nonsense. And this is a bunch of nonsense once again. I don't know how I feel about this. What you mean you don't know how you feel? Do you like Oni? Yes. Then you got to accept the man's flaws. This is a, the last thing I'm going to say. This, this is the same thing with relationships. Like the issue I have with men and women out here. Especially women. You got baggage. You got your own flaws. You claim that you want a character to be holistic and flawed. But when that character or that person shows you his or her flaws. Oh, now you don't want you to mess with it. Man, stop being fake, bro. Be real. I like that Odin has these flaws. I like when Kaido's drunkenness. I like when Luffy has his issues. And Lin Lin has hers and Shanks. And it makes for realistic ass people. People complain about Superman Kal-El because he don't feel human enough. But then when we see human, oh, we want this to be fancy. You can't have it both ways. What you have in Odin is what you've always had. What you have in Odin is a realistic, grounded character who has insane power. And that's just what he is. He is Heracles in One Piece. And I'm glad for Tekken for doing that. And that's probably where Odin grabbed the inspiration. And maybe y'all need to go read up on some Greek mythology. Because some heroes were very flawed characters. Very, very flawed characters. I expect the one to like, comment, subscribe. This video went a little bit longer than I expected it to, but... You know, there are some points that came up that I felt like I needed to address and get my point across. So no confusion in the comment section. Um, let me know what y'all think about Odin. Let me know what y'all think about these last few chapters. Do you think it destroyed his character? Or do you hear my position that this was his character fulfilling itself? Especially in a narrative. It wouldn't be this drastic out here in our world. But we would see similar stuff. I mean, he just luckily got Lady Token. Fate. Then it was his fate to take this L, too. All right, y'all. Have a beautiful day, beautiful night. Peace.